Yeah, yeah, really pleased. I mean, we lost a, a couple of our very key players um, uh, on the Olympic qualification programme. Um, so it's really, really thrilling that the, the other players stepped up to the mark and um, ended up a comfortable victory if there is such a thing in this league. So it's not nice to lose in a final and so close, but um, it was just another match for us, if I'm really, really honest. Um, and uh, we needed to step up to the plate with some of our younger players. We needed to keep learning and progressing and being able to deal with certain situations in a, in a better way. And uh, we certainly managed to do that. It's really important for us to beat Surrey Smashers and um, I think especially to do it in, in their home ground will be uh, a proof that we really are making progression. A really strong team, you know, uh, full of experience, uh, some lovely players in there with Gabby Edcock and Chris Langridge and a lot of young players too. So And, and to go to their home ground uh, caused us probably one of the biggest nightmares I've ever had as a coach where we had endless match points throughout three or four rubbers and uh, I would say that the crowd really really pulled them through on that night uh, I don't know how I still don't know how but it did uh, so it will be nice to go back into that environment and just see if we can handle it a little better than we did last time we've got a, a group of players and the young ones trying to push to get into the team that are really you know really trying to make things happen and really learn the whole experience as a whole and so of course it's about getting wins and getting rubbers on the board but if we can get them more rounded and more capable of the right decision making in that sort of tough environment then, then it's going to put them in great place for, for the rest of their careers.